Honestly, it's it's been a lot of nonsense. Um, I think in my 11 year career, I've, I've never experienced the, the racial comments from the Indiana Fever fan base. Yeah, it's, it's definitely upsetting. I don't think there's nobody in our league should be facing any sort of racism, hurtful, disrespectful, hateful comments and threats. Um, you know, those aren't fans, those are trolls, and it's a real disservice to the people in our league. Caitlin Clark has filed a lawsuit against Alyssa Thomas, accusing her of making racially charged comments about Clark's fan base. Clark, feeling compelled to defend her supporters and loved ones, decided to take legal action after being deeply affected by the remarks. Known for having a passionate and loyal fan base, Clark believed it was important to stand up for them. On the other hand, Thomas, after an 11-year career in the WNBA, has come under fire. With this incident revealing what some are calling her true colors, the recent controversy surrounding Alyssa Thomas and Caitlin Clark has erupted into a firestorm of conflicting opinions and harsh criticisms, revealing much more than just a clash between two prominent WNBA players. At its core, the issue stems from comments made by Alyssa Thomas accusing Caitlin Clark's fan base of racism, particularly in response to her own underwhelming playoff performance. But this drama doesn't just stop with a few heated words. It has evolved into a larger discourse about professionalism in sports, the intersection of race and fandom, and the impact of social media on public perceptions. To understand this, we need to dig deeper into the complexities that surround these players, their performances, and the broader cultural context they exist within. Alyssa Thomas, who has spent over a decade in the WNBA, is a well-respected player known for her hard-nosed defense, versatility, and leadership on the court. She has made a name for herself with her tenacity and work ethic, particularly as a forward for the Connecticut Sun. However, in recent seasons, she's faced mounting pressure to perform at a higher level, especially in high-stakes situations like the playoffs. Thomas's playoff performance in 2024 was notably poor, contributing to her team's failure to advance. In one crucial game, she only scored eight points and shot just 20% from the field, a dismal showing for a veteran of her caliber. As fans and analysts alike voiced their disappointment, Thomas shifted the narrative away from her performance and toward what she claimed was racism directed at her by fans of Iowa standout and rookie sensation Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark's meteoric rise. Caitlin Clark, the University of Iowa star who transitioned to the WNBA in 2024, has been nothing short of a phenomenon, averaging 25.2 points, 7.3 assists, and 5.8 rebounds per game in her rookie season Clark has lived up to the hype she generated in college. Her scoring ability, court vision, and flair for the dramatic have made her an instant fan favorite. She's not just a great player, she's becoming the face of the WNBA, attracting attention, boosting viewership, and filling arenas. But with immense popularity comes intense scrutiny. Clark's meteoric rise has brought her a massive following, but it has also painted a target on her back. For some, Clark's success is emblematic of deeper societal issues regarding race, representation, and fandom, especially in a league like the WNBA, where racial dynamics can often play a subtle but significant role in public perception. The accusation, racism or excuse, when Alyssa Thomas took to social media and interviews to accuse Clark's fan base of racist behavior. Um, you know, we had her face on a serious matter that happened in, in this world and it's unacceptable, honestly. The conversation shifted dramatically. Instead of focusing on Thomas's subpar performance, much of the discourse revolved around the validity and implications of her accusation. Thomas claimed that Clark's fans had directed racist abuse at her and she called for the league to take action against such behavior. Something needs to be done, she asserted, emphasizing that social media had become a toxic space where fans felt emboldened to engage in hate speech without consequence. However, many were quick to point out the lack of evidence supporting Thomas's claims. Critics accused her of playing the race card to deflect attention from her own poor play. In the world of professional sports, it is not uncommon for players to face heckling and criticism from fans, especially after a bad game. What many questioned was whether this criticism was rooted in racism or simply frustration with her performance. The backlash against Thomas was swift and harsh. Some accused her of trivializing real issues of racism by using them as a shield to protect herself from legitimate criticism. They argued that her accusations were not only baseless, 
but also damaging to the ongoing fight against racism in sports. By framing her poor performance as a result of racial animus, Thomas, in their view, was undermining the credibility of real victims of racial abuse. The response from Clark's camp and fans. Caitlin Clark, for her part, stayed largely above the fray, refusing to engage directly with Thomas's accusations. Her focus remained on her performance and her team. This level of professionalism only further endeared her to her fans, who saw her as someone who let her game speak for itself rather than getting involved in off-court drama. Clark's fan base, which has grown significantly over the past year, was quick to defend their favorite player. Many felt that Thomas's accusations were nothing more than an attempt to distract from her own failures. They pointed to Clark's record-breaking performances, her leadership on the court, and her ability to handle pressure as evidence that she was the real deal, someone who had earned her success through hard work and talent, not through privilege or favoritism. This staunch defense of Clark also brought with it accusations of a different kind. Some observers noted that Clark's fans were disproportionately white and that their fervent defense of her, particularly against a black player like Thomas, could be interpreted as an example of racial bias. The argument here was that Clark, as a white woman, was benefiting from the same kind of racial dynamics that have long favored white athletes in professional sports, especially when compared to their black counterparts. However, this line of reasoning did not gain as much traction as Thomas likely hoped. While it is true that race plays a role in how athletes are perceived, the consensus among most analysts and fans was that Thomas's claims of racism were unfounded in this particular instance. Clark's fans were supporting her because of her talent and work ethic, not because of her skin color. The broader impact on the WNBA. This controversy comes at a critical moment for the WNBA, a league that has long prided itself on being socially conscious and inclusive. The WNBA has been at the forefront of advocating for social justice, supporting causes like Black Lives Matter, and using its platform to speak out against inequality. This progressive stance has earned the league a reputation as woke among both its supporters and critics. But this same commitment to social justice can sometimes create tension within the league, especially when players themselves become the subjects of controversy. In the case of Alyssa Thomas and Caitlin Clark, the WNBA finds itself in a difficult position. On one hand, it must take seriously any accusations of racism, as ignoring them would be a betrayal of the league's values. On the other hand, it must ensure that these accusations are grounded in truth as false claims can undermine the very cause they seek to support. The league's response has been measured, with officials stating that they are looking into Thomas's claims, but stopping short of taking any drastic action. This cautious approach reflects the delicate balance the WNBA must strike in addressing issues of race and representation without alienating its fan base or allowing players to use such issues as a means of deflecting from their own shortcomings. Social media has played a significant role in amplifying this controversy. In the age of Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, athletes have unprecedented access to their fans, and vice versa. This direct line of communication can be both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, it allows players to engage with their supporters and build personal brands. On the other hand, it opens the door to criticism, harassment, and abuse on a scale that was unimaginable just a few decades ago. Alyssa Thomas's decision to air her grievances about Clark's fans on social media was a calculated move, one that she likely hoped would rally support to her cause. However, the gamble did not pay off. Instead of generating sympathy, Thomas's comments were met with widespread skepticism and backlash. Many saw her as using social media to distract from her poor performance rather than addressing her struggles on the court head on. Caitlin Clark, meanwhile, has largely avoided engaging in social media battles, choosing instead to focus on her game. This approach has only further endeared her to fans who value athletes who let their game do the talking. In an era where social media can make or break a player's public image, Clark's restraint has proven to be a smart move. The intersection of race, gender, and fandom. The controversy surrounding Alyssa Thomas and Caitlin Clark underscores the complex and often uncomfortable intersection of race, gender, and fandom in professional sports. This is particularly significant in the WNBA, where the majority of players are black women, and the rise of a white star like Caitlin Clark inevitably raises questions about representation, racial dynamics, and how those factors influence fan support. 
While the WNBA has made concerted efforts to address social justice issues and create an inclusive environment, situations like this reveal the challenges in balancing those efforts with the realities of how athletes are perceived and celebrated based on race. There is no denying that race plays a role in the public's perception of athletes. Historically, white athletes in leagues dominated by black players have often benefited from a halo effect. This term refers to the tendency for the accomplishments of white athletes to be amplified while their shortcomings are downplayed. Conversely, black athletes frequently find themselves held to a higher standard. Their mistakes are more heavily scrutinized and their successes are sometimes overshadowed by a narrative that questions their behavior or character, often in subtle but significant ways. This dynamic is not new to the WNBA, and it is certainly not unique to this league. Across professional sports, the racial makeup of teams and the broader fan base plays a significant role in determining which players are elevated as stars and which are criticized more harshly. In the NBA, NFL, and even individual sports like tennis, White athletes often enjoy more favorable media coverage and fan support, even when their performance may not warrant it. This is not to say that all white athletes are undeserving of praise, but rather that they tend to receive more benefit of the doubt when things go wrong, while black athletes are quicker to be labeled as troublemakers or difficult. In the case of Caitlin Clark, her talent and work ethic are undeniable, but the fact that she has been embraced so wholeheartedly by fans, media, and even sponsors highlights this racial dynamic. Her rapid rise in popularity can be attributed to her incredible performances on the court, but there is an argument to be made that her being white has in some ways facilitated her stardom in a league where the majority of players are black. This isn't to undermine Clark's skill or achievements, but rather to point out that race influences how she is perceived, celebrated, and promoted in the WNBA's broader narrative. For Alyssa Thomas, a black athlete who has spent more than a decade in the WNBA, the scrutiny she faces is a reflection of these racial dynamics. Thomas, who has built a reputation as a versatile and resilient player, has not been afforded the same level of benefit of the doubt. Her playoff struggles were harshly criticized, and when she raised concerns about racist treatment from fans, her comments were met with skepticism and accusations of deflecting blame from her performance. The backlash she faced reflects the larger societal tendency to dismiss or minimize the experiences of black athletes when they speak out against racism, particularly when those accusations are seen as a challenge to a popular white player like Clark. This racial tension is not unique to Thomas and Clark. It is emblematic of the broader societal dynamics that shape how athletes are viewed and treated in sports, particularly in leagues like the WNBA that are actively engaged in social justice efforts, these issues take on added significance. The WNBA has worked hard to position itself as a champion of equality, inclusivity, and social justice. The league has been at the forefront of advocating for gender and racial equity, from supporting the Black Lives Matter movement to promoting LGBTQ rights. But the controversy between Thomas and Clark shows that even within such a progressive space, racial dynamics can still create divisions and conflict. While the WNBA's commitment to social justice is commendable, the Thomas Clark controversy highlights the ways in which personal grievances can intersect with broader societal issues, sometimes in ways that undermine the league's goals. It also points to the difficulty of creating a truly equitable environment where all players, regardless of race, feel equally valued and supported. For the WNBA to continue growing and fulfilling its mission as a leader in social change, it must confront these racial dynamics head on and ensure that players of all backgrounds are given equal opportunities to succeed and be celebrated. At the same time, fans and media need to be more critical of the ways in which they engage with athletes of different races. It's essential to recognize how implicit biases influence the way players are perceived, whether it's in terms of their skills, personality, or leadership. The treatment of athletes like Alyssa Thomas and Caitlin Clark should not be based on their race, but on their performance and contributions to the game. However, as this controversy has shown, race continues to play a role in shaping the narrative around athletes, even in a league as socially conscious as the WNBA. In conclusion, the controversy between Alyssa Thomas and Caitlin Clark serves as a reminder of the ongoing complexities of race, gender, and fandom in professional sports. While the WNBA has made great strides in addressing these issues, 
The dynamics at play in this situation show that there is still work to be done in ensuring that all players are treated equitably, both on and off the court. As the league continues to grow and evolve, it will need to reckon with these challenges and find ways to foster a more inclusive and fair environment for all its athletes. Moving forward, what's next for the WNBA? The WNBA now finds itself at a crossroads. The league must navigate the fallout from this controversy while continuing to promote its message of inclusivity and social justice. For Alyssa Thomas, the damage to her reputation may be difficult to repair. While she has been a key player for over a decade, her decision to frame her poor playoff performance as a result of racism has alienated many fans and even some of her fellow players. Caitlin Clark's future in the WNBA looks undeniably bright, despite the swirling controversy surrounding Alyssa Thomas's accusations and the broader racial debate it sparked. Clark has managed to stay focused on her game and consistently perform at an elite level. With her rookie season proving to be nothing short of remarkable, Clark is now set to enter her second season with the weight of enormous expectations on her shoulders. The WNBA has positioned her as a cornerstone talent, and she is poised to become the face of the league, a position that carries immense pressure, but also a wealth of opportunities. Clark's ability to rise above the off-court distractions has been one of her greatest strengths. As her performances continue to speak for themselves, the WNBA and its fans have rallied behind her as a symbol of the next generation of basketball talent. However, this transition from promising rookie to league icon brings with it heightened scrutiny. While her talents are undeniable, the broader cultural dynamics that surround the league and its audience will add new layers of complexity to her journey. At the core of the controversy is not just a dispute between two players, but a broader conversation about race, gender, and fandom in professional sports. The WNBA has long prided itself on being a progressive league, one that advocates for social justice and amplifies the voices of marginalized communities. But as the league grows in visibility and stature, it faces new challenges in balancing these values with the commercial realities of professional sports, as well as the complexities of public perception. The Alyssa thomas Caitlin Clark controversy has brought this issue into sharp focus. On one side, you have Thomas, a seasoned veteran who has dedicated over a decade to the WNBA, but who has recently faced criticism for her performance and her handling of the situation. On the other side is Clark, a rookie phenom who has captivated audiences with her exceptional play, but has also been at the center of a racially charged debate about fandom and privilege. The collision of these two narratives has sparked conversations not only about their individual performances, but also about how the league navigates issues of race, representation, and equality. For Alyssa Thomas, the stakes are high. After years of building a solid reputation as a hardworking, tough, and versatile player, her legacy is now somewhat tarnished by the controversy. The backlash against her comments has been severe, with many accusing her of playing the race card to deflect attention from her disappointing playoff performance. However, it would be a mistake to completely dismiss her concerns, as the WNBA, like many professional leagues, has a history of complex racial dynamics that cannot be ignored. Still, the way Thomas framed her grievances, particularly without providing concrete evidence, has left many questioning her motives, and in some cases, her credibility. On the other hand, Caitlin Clark has largely refrained from engaging with the controversy. Her focus remains on basketball, and her refusal to be drawn into the drama has only bolstered her image as a consummate professional. Clark's ability to remain calm under pressure both on and off the court, has earned her even more admiration from fans and analysts alike. As she heads into her sophomore season, the expectations for her are sky high. Many believe she has the potential not only to be one of the best players in the WNBA, but also to elevate the league as a whole, attracting new audiences and increasing its visibility. However, the broader implications of this controversy go beyond the two players at its center. The WNBA is at a critical juncture and how it handles this situation could set the tone for its future. As the league continues to grow and evolve, it will need to find ways to navigate the complicated intersection of sports and social justice. Issues of race, gender, and identity are deeply intertwined with the world of professional sports, and the WNBA, which has long been a leader in advocating for equality, 
will need to strike a careful balance between supporting its players and addressing larger societal issues. The League's response to this controversy will be crucial in determining how it is perceived moving forward. Some may argue that the WNBA should take a more active role in addressing accusations of racism and ensuring that its players feel supported both on and off the court. Others may believe that the League should avoid getting involved in individual disputes and instead focus on promoting the game and its athletes. Regardless of the approach it takes, the WNBA must remain true to its core values of fairness, inclusivity, and justice. The League has built its brand on being a trailblazer in social justice, and this controversy presents an opportunity to reaffirm that commitment. But it also serves as a reminder that sports, particularly in today's highly charged social and political climate, are never just about what happens on the court. They are a reflection of the broader cultural and societal forces at play, and the WNBA will need to continue grappling with these issues as it grows in prominence. For both Alyssa Thomas and Caitlin Clark, this moment represents a turning point in their careers. Thomas will need to rebuild her image and prove that she is still one of the league's top players, while Clark will need to navigate the pressures of stardom and the responsibilities that come with being a high-profile athlete. Both players have the potential to shape the future of the WNBA, but they will need to do so in a way that respects the diversity of the league's players and fans, and that upholds the values of fairness and equality that have long been at the heart of the WNBA's mission. Ultimately, what happens next will be critical, not just for these two players, but for the league as a whole. The WNBA has an opportunity to set a new standard for how professional sports leagues address complex social issues while continuing to grow and evolve in an increasingly competitive and politically charged landscape. Whether it chooses to take a more hands-on approach in addressing allegations of racism or allows the players to work out their differences on their own, the WNBA must ensure that it remains true to its values. Only then can it continue to be a leader, not just in sports, but in social change. In a league as socially conscious as the WNBA, this situation is emblematic of the unique challenges it faces, balancing the interests of its players, fans, and broader social responsibility will require careful navigation, but as the League continues to expand its influence, its response to these challenges will define not only the legacy of individual players like Clark and Thomas, but the future of the WNBA itself. And in that future, it is essential that the League fosters an environment where skill, effort, and integrity, not race, privilege, or controversy, are the defining characteristics of its success.